How to Prepare Used Cooking Oil for Biodiesel Biodiesel is an organic, non-toxic, and biodegradable fuel made from everyday renewable resources like vegetable oils or animal fats. It can power your car's engine and help the environment at the same time. It doesn't contain any petroleum, so forget about escalating gas prices. Biodiesel cuts down on CO2 emissions. In fact, it's the only alternative fuel to have fully completed the health effects testing requirements of the Clean Air Act. Biodiesel can be purchased at a growing number of fueling stations around the world, but you can also make it in your own backyard. Even if you don't like chemistry, you can brew your own. There are a few important factors to keep in mind when making your own fuel. During all stages of making biodiesel, always work in a well-ventilated area and away from pets and children. Before you begin making your biodiesel homebrew, follow these simple steps and find out how to filter your used cooking oil and ensure a good batch of biodiesel. You will need used cooking oil, a filter, a collection barrel, a biodiesel processor, and a tank thermometer. Step 1. Collect your oil. You can spend the extra money and buy new cooking oil or you can find a restaurant and ask them if you can take their used cooking oil off their hands. Used cooking oil will have a darker color to it and will most likely have chunks of your favorite fried foods floating around. You will need to get rid of these mystery chunks before making your biodiesel homebrew. Step 2. Chunk Removal Filtering your used cooking oil will eliminate the chunks of food and other particles before you begin your biodiesel homebrew process. Larger chunks can contain water and can mess up your biodiesel reaction. Smaller suspended particles should also be allowed to settle so they don't attach to your heating element and muck up your processor. As you pour out your used cooking oil, let it run completely through the filter. The filter doesn't need to be too fine. A paint strainer or window screen will adequately remove the particles that are large enough to affect the biodiesel reaction. You will notice large chunks of fried mystery food collecting in the filter. This filtration process can be fairly quick, but you can let the filtered biodiesel settle anywhere from a couple of hours to a couple of days to let the smaller particles settle out. Once settling is complete, begin transferring your used cooking oil to the reaction tank on your processor. Step 3. Tank Transfer Take the hose that connects the collection barrel to the reaction tank on your biodiesel processor and connect it to the pump. Open up the valve on the reaction tank and open up the valve on the bottom of the collection barrel. To activate the transfer, simply turn on the pump on your processor. You will notice the dark used cooking oil traveling out of the bottom of the collection barrel, through the pump, through the processor, and up into the hose that empties into the reaction tank. Step 4. The heat is on. As your cooking oil makes its way into the reaction tank, you need to heat up the oil to about 120 or 130 degrees Fahrenheit. During the heating process, the pump on your compressor will circulate the oil. Circulating and heating the oil distributes the heat and prevents the oil from getting too hot right near the heating element. This heating and circulation process will take approximately one to four hours, depending on how much oil you are heating, the initial temperature of the oil, the outside air temperature, insulation on the processor, and how powerful your heating element is. Congratulations! You've just properly filtered your used cooking oil and can begin your biodiesel homebrew process. By choosing to use an alternative fuel, you've helped to cut down on CO2 emissions, cut dependence on foreign oil, and saved yourself some money. Nice work.